We're just a few days away until summer and I have a perfect recipe for you guys. Welcome to my channel, my name is James. I've been cooking professionally as a chef for many, many years and in many different countries. And today we're going to be making ceviche. Now we're going to be making more of a traditional type ceviche, but I'm also going to be adding a few extra ingredients to it. So before we get going, if you want any more videos on cooking, cooking techniques, or maybe some travel videos here and there, be sure to like the video down below, subscribe to the channel, and let's get started. So to start the ceviche, we're going to start cutting the onions in julienne. Okay, now, after you cut them in half, we're just going to cut them very, very, very thin. Okay, now to cut the mango, there are a few ways you can peel a mango. You can either use a peeler, just like a potato, and actually peel it, or you can cut it on each side, because there's an actual seed that runs from the top to the bottom. It's quite large, it runs the entire length, and it's right in the middle. So you want to try to get all the meat off that you can. Okay, and if you decide to cut it like this, again, you can either cut it into sections or a quick way of peeling it is to make a lot of little lines. You're going to turn it and do the same. Then after you do that, you're just going to turn it inside out. And now, as you see, you have all these little sections, and you can just cut them off, one by one. Okay, now for the coconut. So to start off, there are a few ways you can do this. You want to get a rag or a towel, put it underneath, and we're going to take the liquid out. And the easiest way to do that is, you see these eyes right here, you can take a screwdriver, and either a hammer or a mallet of some sort, and then we're just going to break it. You want to make sure everything. Whoops. All right. You want to make sure everything is secure, and that nothing's going to move. And you hear the air, and then you're in. That's it. There's not a lot of water in that, is there? So now, after you drain it, we're going to crack it. You can take the coconut as such, and we want to split it along the equator of the coconut. You can take a hammer. All right, and after a few hard taps, it's going to crack. You may want to use a screwdriver, use some leverage. And there you go, you have your coconut, it's open. Now you can dig out this meat, and we can add this to the ceviche if you want, or what I'm gonna show you a little later on how I'm gonna plate. I'm gonna be using the coconut. I'm not gonna be using all of this, I'm just going to be cutting a little bit of it, but whenever you get a packet of cilantro like this, you always wanna check and either wash it off if it has a bit of dirt in it, but you always want to check through it because you will always find, more often than not, like blades of grass, or maybe a couple weeds here and there. And then, of course, if any pieces are starting to turn yellow, throw them out. You don't want to use them. So you can pick the cilantro. You can leave the stem on if you want, or you can pick through it. It's faster just to chop it. Finally, we're going to cut the fish. Now, whenever you get fish for ceviche, you want to get basically sashimi's grade fish when and where you can. It's typically you want to use a white fish for a white ceviche. I'm using salmon, one, because I like it, and two, because I could also teach you something extra about this because it's easier to see on camera. So, one thing as you can tell with the salmon, are you can see these little white rings or these lines. These are the fat lines. And when you get a piece of fish or salmon specifically, a lot of people think it's wild caught salmon and it's you know fresh wild fish. It isn't because the thicker these are, the more fat they have. And that means that they've been raised in a hatchery and they've been, they haven't been using the tail a lot. Now to clean the salmon, this is the midsection. You want, we're gonna take out the midline here and along here you have uh, let's see if I can take it out. These little bones, you want to make sure that you take rid of, get rid of these. 
Then, for the skin, we can start on the small end. And you want to make a little incision with the knife. Just cut down to the skin. And as you're cutting, you're going to turn. I'm going to use my thumb to get a little bit of leverage on it. And I'm just going to slowly rock the knife back and forth using the blade to cut the fish. Very easy. Now, I'm, you're also going to apply pressure on the board. And I'm going to keep the skin tight as I pull. And there you have the skin is off. Now, another thing to do with fish whenever you're cooking for um, like sushi or for ceviche, this line, you want to take this off. The black or this is the blood and all the other stuff that you don't want to be eating. And then of course this is the residue from the skin. So you want to remove all of this before you cut it. Okay, so once you're done with the back, it's clean now, you're going to flip it over and you're going to remove the rest of the bones and then we're going to cut this out. Now once you have all the bones out and the fish is cleaned, we're going to start cutting. You can square it off if you want, we're just going to make small incisions. Depending on the size that you cut the fish and depending on the fish itself, it's going to take longer or less time to cook. Okay, now to start with the ceviche. We, after we have all the ingredients ready, we're going to get a metal bowl, as, I, as you see I have here. We're going to put a bit of ice underneath, some salt and a little bit of water. And what this is going to do is it's going to drop the temperature while we're making the ceviche. And it's important that you want to use this every time that you work with seafood, because otherwise you run the risk of contamination. All right, so after that, we're going to put the salmon in, or the fish. I'm going to start with the lime juice. After you squeeze the limes in, make sure that the fish is submerged in the juice. And right now, this is actually cooking it. It's called denaturalization, where the citric acid is actually going to cook for us instead of us having to apply heat to it. It's pretty cool. So, you're going to leave this for a few minutes, and now we're going to be adding the rest of the ingredients. Alright, after about 15 minutes, it may take a little longer or a little less, you can tell that the fish has turned opaque. It started to turn white, the salmon, and you can break a piece off, a large piece, and actually see how done it is. Now, for salmon, some people like it fully cooked, some like it a little undercooked, it depends on your preference. After it's at the point that you want, we're going to add a bit of coconut milk now. If you have too much lime juice, pour it out, otherwise it'll split the coconut milk, but you can add the coconut milk now. You can also add a bit of cilantro, and you can taste it if it needs any more salt. You can add a little more salt, and there you go. Easy ceviche with coconut milk. And that's the end of it guys, it's a, ceviche is a very easy dish to make, there are many many different recipes on how to make it, you can only take you about 30 to 20 minutes to make it, sometimes a little longer depending on the type of fish you buy and again how thick you actually cut it, this will determine the cooking time. But other than that, it's a very easy and quick thing that you can do at home. So if you want any more recipes or any more guides on cooking, be sure to like the video down below, subscribe to the channel for more content, and I'll see you guys again very soon. Mm -hmm.